What is up guys, Hi, once again, and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cook Your Own Kingdom. In this video, I want to talk about some of the things that you can do when you are stuck in a stage or you are not able to progress any further in the story mode. As you guys know, I have tried 9-1 on my No Gotcha account or No Cookie Gotcha account and you guys know that I am currently stuck. And I want to show you guys exactly what I am doing in order for me to not be stuck and progress throughout more of the story yes it's going to take some time but i want to share this tip with you guys anyways guys if you guys find this video helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future cooking kingdom videos i upload on youtube anyways guys with all that out of the way let's get right into the video all right guys here we go we are back on our haruli vanilla account and as you guys know like i said in the introduction I am currently stuck at 9-1. I was not able to clear any stage during the live stream and uh, you guys were able to see uh, me try to beat this stage. I was, you know, I died on wave 1 and then died at wave 2 and then kind of got into wave 3 but yeah, I was stuck. I am currently still stuck, okay? but. I want to share with you guys the steps that I am taking in order for me to upgrade as well as trying to uh, clear the stage without any cookie gotcha. And also, this will go for a lot of different players too because of the fact that, you know, you're not always going to have crystals in order to spend on gotcha. And also, you just won't be able to get the cookies that you want all the time, right? Um, yes, if you are able to do gacha and you're able to do the pumpkin pie uh, gacha or any of the regular gacha, uh, you might be able to get some epic cookies uh, from luck, right? And you might be able to get even ancient or legendary, but that is not the case majority of the time, right? So that's why I want to share with you guys exactly what I am doing, uh, especially for all of those players who are stuck in either 9-1 or 9-5 or 9-6 or so on, because this seems to be the point where a lot of players get stuck and uh, that is where I am at currently right now too so the number one thing that I want you guys to realize when you guys are playing this game and when you guys do get stuck is to go back and look at the toppings of your cookies okay so the toppings are going to be one of the key factors in allowing you to beat a stage or not because of the fact that they give you so much boost in the stats of your cookies you need to be able to have proper toppings on your cookies and i do have videos out there that talks about toppings as well as what substats are good for each of these cookies uh, it needs to be updated but it will help for majority of the players because i have went over all of them up to i believe moon rabbit cookies so twizzly gummy mala sauce as well as pumpkin pie if you have questions you guys can ask me but i have made videos on them as well so you guys could probably watch them and find out exactly what toppings and substats that you want but here we go um for ginger brave i have currently three rare toppings as well as two epic toppings so what i'm doing right now currently is farming uh, the epic toppings and as you can see I am currently in 8-29 farming this stage because this stage is going to be the one where you can farm both searing raspberry as well as solid almond so this is the only one stage that I know of right now that will allow you to farm both of these toppings at once of course the rate is not 100% I don't even exactly know what the rate is uh, on these drops but the more and more you grind it the higher and higher chance you have pretty much guys because you're playing it more uh you might do it 10 times and you might get a one uh one topping and that's how this game is right it's kind of like artifact uh grinding however it's a little bit different because you don't have the substats right right away but you are getting uh the toppings and then you have to get the substats i guess in a sense it's a little bit harder than um you know artifact grinding from genshin impact but here you go um this is what i am doing currently because uh, as you can see, Espresso Cookie does not have all Searing Raspberry. This one has all three, right? And then two. So right now I have two, but I am missing topping pieces. That's why I'm still going to be grinding this stage in order for me to not only get the uh, one guaranteed topping piece that I'm, I'm getting, and then also if I do get some rares, um, then I can always break them down. Okay, so that's why I am currently... Oh my gosh, all right. Well, I'll play it. So that's the reason why I am actually playing this stage and just autoing it through because now I know I can auto uh, this certain stage. So it's not a, it doesn't take that much time and you just need to sit there and just kind of do it for a little bit, um, like five minutes maybe, uh, depending on how strong your cookies are. And this goes for everyone who is stuck in a uh, different stages too. So if you're stuck in 7-25 for example, then I would suggest you go and 
go uh, farm toppings from uh, maybe episode six or a lower stage of episode seven. And when you click on the stage, you're gonna be able to see exactly what toppings are you know available for drop. Okay, it's not guaranteed like I said before, but you at least know exactly what toppings might be able to come out if you do clear that stage. I highly suggest you guys go do some farming of some toppings, okay, so that you can upgrade the stats of your uh, cookies, especially with the epic ones, because they do go up to a plus 12. Okay, it is important for you to do that, but I do recommend that you don't spend everything, okay? You don't spend all of your topping pieces uh, when you are doing your topping upgrades because you do want to get the best substats and you need that in order for you to clear these stages Okay, so I highly suggest do some farming topping and that's gonna be the number one thing that I'll be doing uh, on this account in order for me to clear uh, Episode 9-1. Okay, so that's gonna be the first thing and the second thing is going to be me going and clearing my Tower of Sweet Chaos. Of course, I've been slacking on this, but if you guys remember from live stream yesterday, I have went all the way up from, I believe, like, trade 3 now, all the way up to 20 now. Okay, so this is an awesome, awesome way for you to gain some extra EXP Star Jellies. And this, was, this is going to definitely help you guys out in upgrading your cookies uh, when it comes to some levels. Because uh, when you reach a certain point of this game, you're going to... Pretty much outgrow your level okay so i'm currently level 36 uh, on this account but my highest level for a cookie is uh i believe like 48 okay so right now i am i'm pretty much outgrown the level cap of my kingdom and then my cookies so you're gonna need a lot more and as you can see uh this is not anywhere near for me to upgrade from 46 to 47 so um, that is going to be an awesome way for you to get some EXP star jellies in order for you to upgrade the cookies. And I would highly suggest you go and do some of this. And if you, even if you cannot beat a certain tray, all right? So if I'm, for example, if I'm in tray 22 and I can't beat it, then just go back to tray, tray 21 and then just farm this one because you don't want to be sitting at 72 searing keys, okay? You don't want to be sitting at uh, a max because you're not getting the maximum amount of rewards possible. So you want to grind this one out. At least you're getting 90 of the level two, right? It's not a ton, but it's definitely going to help you out throughout the story and throughout the game. So that is something that I'll do and the number two tip that I'll give you guys. And then the next thing that I will do is if you guys do have the soda island then you always have to be doing the soda island okay so soda island is definitely going to be uh something that is going to help you out um i currently don't have any um uh, you know i don't have anything to kind of um, go over there right now so i need to clear this out uh, i've been only focusing on story pretty much and then the fourth thing that i'll do okay is going to be focusing on your landmarks okay so if you guys remember from live stream i did build my dark lord's castle upgrading and giving my cookies extra 5.5 percent damage resist uh, my lion statue right now is at level 5 giving 7.5 my flower garden is level 3 giving 6.5 extra hp and then i have this one so this grand desert tower is going to be pretty much one of the key um, landmarks that you might want to build earlier on in the story because of the fact that this is actually going to be decreasing your recharge of your stamina jellies is going to help you progress throughout the story a lot faster and allow you to grind a lot more uh, when it comes to topping farming as well as just beating the story because you are going to run out of stamina jellies and you want to be getting some extra recharge time uh, from this landmark so I do highly suggest uh, you build that and then something that I will also build later on is going to be um, this one right over here Skull Island Resort uh, this is going to give you extra 30 stamina jelly every one day and the you know more you upgrade the time is going to e decrease but that is also going to be a great one and then throughout the story you just want to start building uh, these landmarks especially for the ones that give you stats like the uh, snow globe is going to give you defense the haunted house is going to give you three percent crit and so on and then you can build the rest of them uh, later on too but that is what i will be doing and then also um this is something that i always tell you guys but don't forget to upgrade and level up your cookie houses or mansions okay so right now i do need to build some extra so this is what i will be doing um i do need to expand a little bit more but you want to be building these in order for you to not um you know fall short of too much of your exp star jellies and that is this is definitely going to be number one thing when it comes to exp star jelly farming okay so i highly suggest you guys do this as well 
uh, and then also when you guys do have the chance just do the events right there's a ton of events that are available to you um, these one right here tough cookies this one's not disappearing uh, so you don't need to worry about it sadly for me on this account I can never clear this because I can't do cookie gotchas okay and then you can do the um, you can wait for the new epic cookie that they give you I am waiting for herb to come into my arsenal so that I can use him uh, to heal my cookies but right now I still have seven days sadly I missed out a couple of days on logging on to this account so that's why I'm a little late but for the majority of the players who are playing every single day herb I believe is coming to you guys today so I highly recommend you um, upgrade him if you are using custard only uh, and then you can use uh, yeah you know just do arena uh, you get 200 crystals um, the bounties 300 crystals do it every single day and then yeah um, if you have if you're stuck too you can go into into the unknown uh, challenge and then do some of these to so you can get some extra you know extra resources like the Aurora uh, pillar stamina jelly cookie cutters and so on there's so many things that you can do right here um, and also you can go into dog mode so what I did last time too was uh, start clearing my dog mode and I beat all the way up to episode uh, 1 national team moving on to episode 2 now and this is gonna allow you to have a chance of farming uh, these soul stones of course the soul stones are uh, limited and you could only get a maximum of three and I don't even think um, it's a guaranteed it's not a guarantee so you have a chance of getting it and not getting it but you can only play the certain stage three times per day so in order for you to get uh, you know a cookie from soul stones farming from dark mode and you get soul stone every single run Then it's gonna take you about seven days uh, for you to do that But the maximum will be about 20 days because I believe you get at least one guaranteed soul stone All right, so there's a chance of you getting that but uh, you have to go further and further in order for you to get some epic uh, Soul stones, so just keep that in mind as well as you can see it's only commons and rares all right but those are going to be some of the things that I will be doing uh, throughout my uh, gameplay in order to try to not get stuck in this um, game mode, especially the 9-1. And then later on, I'm for sure going to be stuck in 9-5 uh, when the uh, Dark Choco Legionnaires come out where I, they slash you and knock back your cookies. So I am going to be trying my best in order to um, get my cookies set up in order for me to beat... Uh, episode 9 with this account and I hope that these kind of tips uh, help you guys in progressing throughout your stories and not bore you guys out because I know it can be very very boring if you cannot be the stage and you're constantly playing the same thing over and over again so there are a lot of different things that you can do while you're stuck and still uh, upgrade as well as invest in your cookies and your team so I highly suggest you guys do some of the tips that I have shared with you guys in this video anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video if you guys found it helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as a like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys will miss out on any future cookie and kingdom videos as well as live streams that i do on youtube because i do tend to go live almost every single day unless i have something uh to do or you know it just doesn't fit into my schedule but i do try to at least stream one hour to two hours a day so i will be doing that uh, majority of the time and we'll be announcing it in discord as well as the uh youtube so if you don't want to miss out on it then have your notification bell on as well as join my discord channel down in the description below and also if you guys do want to play uh cooking kingdom on the pc then i do have a link down in the description for ld player okay that is going to be affiliate link but this is going to be an emulator later that you can use on your PC uh, it did not work for a couple of days after the update but I believe they have fixed it currently I am using LD player again so you guys can use LD player to play on your PC and it has to be a Windows one so for now you're gonna have to do Windows and I'll share with you guys a method that you can use on your MacBook as well but anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video thanks for watching once again and I'll see you guys all next time